Esbanjando autógrafos aqui ao nosso lado, Steve Cavaleiro na primeira impressão aqui de São Bernardo. So, how does it feel like first impression about São Bernardo Skate Park? It's a park that everyone hears about all over the world. What do you think about that? Um, I'm excited. It looks pretty smooth, you know. It looks like it has a lot of nice areas to flow around. So uh, you never know what a skate park is like unless unless you roll on it. <laughs> it may look good, but it, when we roll on it, that's when we can tell if it's good or not. <laughs> Because it might be kinky or... But I heard lots of good stuff about it, so we're excited. Especially to ride with Christian and Chris Miller as well. It'll be fun. It's huge. It's big. You know, I remember just that one bowl. And uh, I don't remember how the city looked back then, but it's all starting to come back to me. But it's just amazing how far skateboarding has come in Brazil. I remember saying to myself, man, pretty soon we're going to have some of the best skaters in the world come out of Brazil. You know, and uh, to see it actually come to pass, and now it's here, and you've got guys like Sandro and Lincoln and, and Bob, who are like phenomenal, you know, skateboarders in the in the in the world. Why do you think they have so special, like, to come up like this? Well, I think it's adversity. You know what I mean? When when you're living living in a country that's very you know uh, um, third world and and a lot of things are tough. You know, especially growing up as a kid and uh, to see actually skateboarders you know come up and become the best in the world right out of Sao Paulo. It, it, it's just it, it's awesome. Still riding vert or basically pool? Um, pretty much just riding vert and bowls now. You know, I kind of gave up on the on the street skating stuff for a while. You know, and just kind of focused back on bowl riding. Um, and I've been having a lot of fun. You know, it's it's I've been through a, a lot of different uh, eras in skating. You know, uh, so it's just learning where you know I want to put my attention to and try to progress in that level. And with the you know without skating bowls and vert for a while, you kind of lose a lot of tricks. You know, and I have to try to relearn a lot of the stuff again. I'm a gaddin of a stress, coffee beers, beer cigarettes. I got a piece of oh no, moving on, moving on. I'm trying to make my day happier. I'm trying to make my day happier, you know. I've become playing. Pipe. We, we almost didn't even want to leave, but the <laughs> bowls are awesome. And these kids are super cool. The, the people there were super nice, so I had a great time. As we're starting to leave, we we're like, let's take, take a few runs in the pipe, you know, see how high we can get. And once you start getting higher and higher, like, let's, let's, let's go higher and didn't higher, you know? Leave. So, didn't want to leave. Dessa maneira, galera da ESPN, a gente termina a session de hoje. Steve Cavalero, Christian Rossoy, aí só direto de São Bernardo. Thanks for He you was guys. ripping too. He was ripping. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks. Obrigado. All right. Obrigado. <laughs> <laughs>